In this video, we show you the integration of AHCS in your TIA portal project with the library variant easy to use. Let's start with the engineering. In the online menu, select the hardware detection of the Profinet devices in the network and start the search. The devices found are displayed. Select the HCS and add the device. The hardware detection of the HCS was successfully done. By double-clicking, we can now adjust the hardware configuration of the HCS and configure the power output modules, called POMs, and peripheral modules, called PMs. For example, depending on the POM, the half-wave control, phase-angle control, or one of the soft start options to prevent high inrush currents can be selected as the control mode. Deactivate any phases that are not connected at the POMs. Then we assign the PLC to the HCS as I.O. controller and assign the configured Profinet device name to the HCS. The hardware is now completely configured. Next, we integrate the library with the HCS program blocks. The block library is downloaded from the Siemens Industry Online Support Portal, saved locally, then unpacked and opened in the global library. The blocks for the easy-to-use variant are located in the common and easy-to-use subfolders. For the easy-to-use variant, we mark the easy-to-use folder under Types and drag it into the program blocks of the PLC. We do the same under Master Copies with the common and easy-to-use folders, whereby common is additionally placed in the PLC tags and easy-to-use in the Watch and Forest tables. The elements are assigned correctly. If several heating controllers are operated, enter the number in the integrated PLC text tag table as the user constant HCS max. The command function block from the easy to use folder is called in OB1 main. Drag it into OB1 and generate an instance data block for the FB. The interface parameters are automatically interconnected. Only the hidden parameter, first run, must be supplied with the interface parameter initial call of OB1. Then we add diagnostic interrupt OB, diagnostic error interrupt and call the FB command with the same instance DB. Here too, we display the hidden parameters and interconnect the hardware identifier L address. We repeat this step for the rack failure OB, rack or station failure, and additionally connect the event class, event class. To identify the HCS, the hardware ID of the I.O. device must be specified in the DB tags. Open the array I.O. device under HCS device address. Enter here the value that you find in the network view when you select the HCS under Properties, System Constants. Load the project into your PSC and start it. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.